Blue Aquarius. This is your bonus read. Hooray! How are you? Yeah, like last time, like Capricorn came in and just finessed the hell out of like position three, so I'm giving it to you this time. They can wait a couple of days. <laughs> We're going to be doing another Thunderdome, so it's going to be with you and your person. So, it's two readings. Group one, group two. You figure out which one you are, and we'll go from there. Oh, shit. Okay. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, you know, check your charts if you want to. This resonates with you. Good deal. If not, do not worry about it. Group one. So far you got shit and you want to work on some shit. I like that. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. That boss kind of vibe. Fears of Rejection is a king of wands. Leo Sagittarius. Someone might be good with kids. Someone who looks at stuff fairly before he takes passion. Here we have the two of cups in the situation. Queen of Swords, in the obstacles and challenges. <laughs> okay, so your challenge might be just Aquarius in general. Also, it could be Libra or Gemini, but like usually that's Libra's card, but I feel like that could also be Aquarius when very angered. They just cut things. Okay, the start of this shit and how it'll end full circle. Oh, might definitely be a Libra involved in this. Uh, justice reverse bad karma somewhere. Bad judgment. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Someone's tired of feeling like, you know, the stepping stool of the household. Everything's just out of whack. Right? Like, that's Aquarius right there. They're cutting out the just, the bad shit. And this is like, you know, as above, so below. So it's kind of like, hmm. Like, this King of Wands right here definitely has something rooted that's not so grand. You know? Like. Like, might have set fire to the courtyard and killed the king and now everybody's after him, right? Yeah, that kind of thing. Just stuff that makes you go, hmm, what the hell? Um, she could be coming in to kill that stuff. Alright. Oh, your king of pentacles is right there with a, a, a good wager, though. But it's like, she's really focused on him over here. Or the justice card over here. Not the king of wands, but the justice card. And that's like... It's like she isn't even focusing on who the person is anymore. Who be dinging me, man? Ah, uh, this Karen. I love Karen. She was my co-worker for like it. A few years, I think. Oof. Great. First card. The uh, King of Pentacles. He's got some stuff to offer, and he's looking for a reason to stick around. Ooh. We've got this cup of love situation where the skeleton is just shoving his cup in this chick's face, and she's just like, oh, I really don't drink wine. It, it's good. It, 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 it's fine. You'll like it. You got pretty hair, you know. Like, definitely trying to get some interest. Oh, this relationship could definitely like bring out someone's um happy happy side. Like, I feel like that's really important here. Like, someone feels like they can just chill 
and um, have woodland creatures like bunnies and shit just run up in their yard and have doves land perfectly on their fingertips. They can look like a princess from that one movie where like Heath Ledger was jousting, but I can't remember what it was called. It wasn't Camelot, because I think that was a cartoon. But, you know. Alright, someone's working on something. Three of Pentacles, we got Three of Cups, so they got a wish to surrender something. Uh, I guess the third party, I guess the lifestyle, I guess the, um, just the entire cup situation is just like, here God, take this back. I don't need that shit, you know? Hmm. But below, they got the Queen of Swords. Like, cut through it a little bit. Like, pretend this is the 5D and pretend this is the 3D. And it's like, hmm. Like, it comes out really fucking violently when you look at it that way. Like, that, like, that's a hell of a way to, like... Hmm. So this Queen of Swords, obstacle and challenge. Like, she's just looking at this injustice like, I'm coming for you. There's already blood on my sword and it's dripping on the floor. And I can add some more. Um, she's kind of wasting time. She's like Jesse Smollett. She hired people to kidnap her. <laughs> <laughs> like she's not she's like she it, like she she trying to look like she's got the ability to cut out the bullshit with this justice card right but she's not it's like she's acting like she's stuck in this situation which she can escape from at any time <laughs> but you know she's just living up that kind of martyrdom right there. That's what someone's trying to have an obstacle to get over. Just go and cut it out. That would be the simplest solution to all of this, I feel like. King of Wands in the Fears and Rejections. I feel like, yeah, there's a reason why someone's rejecting him. I just don't know what it is. I might find out. But... There's a fear of rejection at, with him, so what might that be? Um, that he is just, you know, screwing everything up, like, <laughs> like just totally messing things up. Trying to take fate into his own hands and not doing the best job with it, I will say. Probably, probably that's why there's like the bad karma below with the justice card reverse. What is this full circle card all about? Oh. I guess. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Mm. Someone who really keeps their feelings in the dark. Um likes to express them very subtly, very quietly. Probably... Probably enjoys just sitting in silence more than conversation. Yeah, you know, that's more comfortable. He's got the ocean all around him, he's got control of his emotions, but it's like... He's also hiding his emotions, too, because it's dark. It's like they're hard to tell. They're hard to see. And it's like, mm -hmm. what you doing? What's the ending theme? Ooh, we got two for you, group one. Um, someone has gone inside and calmly are indecisive. Very unusually calmly indecisive. The Hermit and the Two of Swords. Hmm. That's three vice cards for you, Group 1. Somebody is just 
just a waste. It, 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 there's nothing. The person you're coming against doesn't have any passion. Like, you might have passion, but this person does not. Right here in this situation, someone's relinquishing shit. Um, but they need to get out of this whole, um, I feel like passive. Being too passive, I'll say. Uh, Link is that cub, cut some throats. Get your money, you know? Get working on something, because that's what this person's trying to do. Uh, as for this situation over here with this dude, just whatever this person is doing. Um, I feel like they're going to come looking for love a little bit too late, or whoever's going to try to come in looking for love. Could be you, group one, up you got gotten yourself so you might go over and look and it just be like, do, it, do I even bother, or like, should I even worry about knocking on this door, or asking about this question? I feel like it'll be a while before you would even get an answer because they've been in the dark for so long about how they actually feel. You know? So, that was yours. Group 1, we move on to group 2. Yay. Alright. And there they all went. Okay. They did. So many went on that. Oh man. Yeah. They did a couple of yeah, uh, Thank you. My husband is such a fucking great husband. The best you'll ever get. And you can't have mine because he's mine. Yeah, she sucks a bit too. Baby. <laughs> okay. Is it okay? Oh, I'm bad. Alright, group two, you are up next. Alright, group two, let's see what's going on with you guys. Knight of Wands, Leo Sag, Aries. King of Swords here in Wants and Wishes, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Ace of Swords here in the Fears and Rejections. The situation is the Ten of Swords. Hmm. A little bit of betrayal, a little bit of feeling stuck, stabbed, wounded. Obstacles and challenges coming against you. Queen of Swords. Except this time, she's a little bit scorned and probably way more crazy this time. Not looking quite as logical. And these are counterparts, so I think that's kind of weird. Like... You might be coming in to battle this dude who's all calm and shit, but... It's like, you're feeling stuck and this person's ready to put more swords in the box. Just because they're mad at you. For whatever reason. Or because you're a target. One of the two. What started this shit and how it will end. Comes full circle is... Eight of Pentacles. Working. Getting that grind in. Putting energy into it. But I'm not sure if someone's putting their energy into something that they are aware of, they don't 
want by chance? Like, you know, um, it's kind of like a fear thing, you know, like, you psych yourself out of doing something because you're afraid it's going to turn out terrible. Someone might be working towards that, but they still have that fear in their back with their head. Okay, beginning theme is... King of Wands, reverse, huh? There he is again. Leo Sag Aries. So we have air, fire, that's pretty much it. We got swords. We got one pentacle. Someone's working to get something of significance. Alright, group two. Let's see what's going on with y'all, my booze. All right. Ooh. Okay, there could be a king of pentacles who just feels like they can't move forward, or like... They're just not dealing with a cancer who wants to argue, and it's just kind of like, eh. Um, either or, but it does feel like that there is a stuckness here when it comes to potential funding or whatever. And it's like someone left their childhood love away or someone from the past that was significant to them walked away from them and went to offer their cup somewhere else. Could be a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Yeah, just walked the fuck off. Didn't you hear how much it, they, they loved it, I guess? So several came out already, so that's cool. Alright, Knight of Wands. The Leo Sag Aries of it all. Could be the same person as this King of Wands too, but I'm not sure yet. Wanna come in for battle. Ready to go in battle if necessary. You're ready to end shit. They are ready and raring to go. Alright. We got the balls. The uh, They're bringing the audacity. To this king of swords right now, okay? Um, but below them is a situation where they're feeling stuck. Might be with Aquarius. Um, or with communication. Maybe that's what they want to communicate. Or they've... Or they betrayed you, Aquarius? One of the two? Or you betrayed them? Or something like that. It's like... Someone f definitely feels like stuck in a... And somebody stuck the swords in. They might think it's you. It might have been you. Or it could have been you to them. Or Well, I just did the exact same thing. Or them to you, I meant. Um, this King of Swords right here feels a bit disenfranchised. Like they're not themselves. Um, a little broke. And they want... That's what I think that's what they want with that truth. Being a little bit harsh about it, I think. Verbalizing that they don't have enough in this situation. However, the challenge and obstacles below with this Queen of Swords, which is the counterpart, um, she wants to put more swords in, she just hasn't figured out where else she's going to put them. Like, you know, the box is pretty, like, good. <laughs> like, she's got them pretty deep in there, even at the bottom. I don't know how, but, like, they're there, and she's got two more, so she's ready. However, we got the Ace of Swords reverse. Someone has some lack of clarity. I don't. I think someone's really unsure. I don't. I. I, I think they are. I'm not. I think they are not sure how things would work out in this, or if it would work at all. Like people can't communicate with each other. It could be a work scenario, or someone could be having an affair with somebody at their job. Something like that. Someone is working endlessly, and it could be this queen of wands right here, and she's pissed. She's in bitch mode. And she might also be this queen of swords right here, who's looking to put more swords in the fucking box. Um, damn. Mind you, she's the counterpart to the king of wands who's all the way over here. He's not on his best behavior. He's being very rude, very inconsiderate very um, obnoxious, childish, and, you know, 
queen of wands can be th that way as well, but she's a, a girl, so she could be even meaner and mean it and keep doing it forever. <laughs> like, very impatient, very temperamental, very much, I want it and I want it now, we're off with her head. What's the ending theme for you? King of Cups right here. Dude wants to um, keep his emotions in check. While on the inside, he might be losing his shit. Just a smidge. Just a smidge. Okay. But he's not showing it. Like, he's keeping his emotions in check for sure. Like, very much in control of that. Oh, there's four actually this time. Um, with this situation right here, it's going to be a lot of patience. Because I feel like this is the start of an argument. Or some sort of final battle, right? It could be with a Sagittarius, but it calls for patience here. Um, Knight of Wands is kind of like... Okay, Knight of Wands is always like... Someone going in for like... A conquest, you know booty call man, right? And he's right into this temperance right here. It's like, if I have enough patience, like, maybe this person will be interested. And it's just kind of like, no, this person's coming in, um, ready to whack people. You know? Might have been sent by this queen of wands, too. Because, uh, someone was slow to give an offer, so someone just walked away from it all. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Okay, so, let me pull one more this way. Just curious. Yeah, don't, doesn't even care how, I, about getting closure neither. Like, they're just like, you know what, I'm emotionally done. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, that's the reading, Aquarius. Um, thank you for watching my video. If you're interested in the personal reading, um, the description box has all the information below, as well as, like, the background music links if you want to listen to that on your chill time. Uh, I hope you all have a good day. I will see you later. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.